Hey, what's going on Flash Mob? It's your boy Flash back again with another HoneyBook tutorial. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about the importance of creating a proposal and how they are guaranteed to help you increase your bookings. Run the intro. Really quickly guys, I wanna mention that this video is not sponsored. The reason why I'm sharing all of this HoneyBook information because after using the platform myself, I really saw an increase in the amount of clients that are actually reaching out to me and an increase in how many are actually booking with me. So with that type of thing helping me, of course I'm gonna share it with you guys. If at any point during this video you decide that you wanna start using HoneyBook, I am able to provide you with a 50% discount off of your first year. So I'm gonna make sure I go ahead and leave that link in the description below, so make sure you guys take advantage of that. Also, if it's your first time here, welcome. My channel is all about helping you turn your passion into a paycheck and taking you along my filmmaking journey. If that's the kind of thing that you're into, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. So HoneyBook allows you to use really good workflows to help move your clients from an inquiry all the way over to a booked client. And one of the most powerful tools that they offer are proposals. In previous videos, we talked about templates, contracts, brochures, contact forms and all those kind of things all work together when it's time to actually send out that final proposal to get a client to actually book with you. So make sure you guys take a moment to go back and look at those videos if you haven't done so already. I'll leave a link right here for you guys. Your proposal is basically your invoice, payment plan and contract sent out to your clients in the easy to read and most importantly easy to pay format. Let me tell you exactly how this works into my current sales funnel. So first, a client is gonna visit my website and fill out my contact form. From there, HoneyBook is automatically gonna generate a new project and add them to my pipeline. What I like to usually do next is get them on some type of call and get more details about their overall project and just get to know a little bit about their needs a bit more. And then from there, I'll send out a proposal. And now in a proposal, it shows them all of the services that I offer, usually a little summarization of what we talked about in their meeting, for example, their goals and things like that that they wanna try and achieve and how we help them do that. And it allows them to actually select the services that they wanna use moving forward. Then immediately after that is where proposals come into play. It's kinda of like your final step in booking your clients. Now I love this type of sales funnel just because it keeps everything very smooth and easy, not only for yourself, but also for the clients that are actually inquiring about your services. This becomes especially important when you have a lot of clients reaching out to you. And the reason why is because it keeps every single person on the exact same path from inquiry to booked. and allows you as a vendor to go back and make sure that if anybody hasn't moved through your sales funnel, you can easily just push them along to the next step. So let's go ahead and see how to make a proposal together now. All right, so just like anything else, you first head over to your tools and you go to your templates. Then from there, you're gonna click on where it says proposals and we'll just take a look at one of the ones that I already have. So let's look at my production proposal. So you can set up a proposal so that if you wanna skip any of the steps prior and you just wanna send them out a proposal, like a client's like, yo, I just wanna work with you. Just tell me the price and like, let's go. Instead of going through the entire sales funnel, you can send them out a brochure directly and that's what we're gonna look at now. So in my proposal, I make it really simple. I just give a little picture with my branding on it. We're gonna just show all the services that we offer and then the payment structures that we offer. And then of course, there's gonna be a contract included with it at the end. But let's just go through this and see how it's done. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and add a new item. So this is why I said that it's important for you to make your packages first because you're gonna need them to populate your project. So if you already went ahead and did that, you just go into your services. And the first thing I'm gonna select is my full day. I'm gonna add that as an option. And if you wanna add a new item, which I'm definitely gonna do, you go down here, do the same thing, click on it, and then I'm gonna to go to my half day. And if I wanna add my editing options, I'll add that on there too. And if you want to add a brand new service, it's as easy as going in here and typing out what you want. And then you can add it as a new item right here. And then right from there, you can add the price for it. So our pre-production starts at 800. You are gonna charge taxes. And 
that's that. And then you can fill out all the descriptions in terms of what's being offered with that service, but we're not going to do that right now. If you want to move these services from the bottom to the top or anything like that, you just click on these little things here and you slide it up like that. And then from there, you can see the taxes. If you want to add a discount, you can do that here in either percentage or dollar amounts up to you. And if you scroll down a little bit more, this is where you'll find your payment schedule or your payment plans. Now, generally, I like to take my first payment on the same day that I send out a proposal. So it'll be due upon receiving it. So you can click here and you can show right there that it shows upon receipt. And if you click on your little down arrow here, you can see all the different options that you actually have in terms of picking when you want this to be paid. The next one I usually do uh, on the day of the production. So I'll pick a smart date in this case, or you can actually pick project date, which is cool too. And that would make that payment due on the day of. Now, if for whatever reason you need to pick more payment options or change the payment schedules or whatever the case is, it's, it's really easy. So all you have to do is add another payment. And then you can see here, it'll automatically make one for your midway point. And I like that. It's cool midway point of the project. So from the time that they actually see the proposal and they make their first payment and the actual date that the project is happening, it'll automatically add a midway point for you where another payment would be due, which is cool. And then if you really wanted to, let's say for example, you take a percentage up front and then you split the rest of the payments down to something smaller. All you have to do is just click on this payment right here and then you can change it to what you want it to be. So in this case, let's say percentage, we'll say we need 50% up front. So it'll be 50% is required up front. And then the next couple payments are in smaller installments, one that's gonna happen at the midway point, and then the remaining balance is due on the project date. And it's just really that easy. And if you want if you want to delete them, you just go over here and you hit the delete button. So I'm gonna delete that one. And I'm just gonna click here and I'm just gonna put it back to divide equally. And even if you want to do a custom amount, again, you could just change this to whatever you want. So if you want a $300 payment up front, and then they can make the payments after. It's just as easy as doing it from there. So let's move down to the last part, which is your contract. So again, guys, when it comes to contract, I'm gonna say, go back and look at the video that I talked about with contracts, where we go into detail about it. But there's certain things that you wanna ensure that you keep on your contract, and then you wanna reach out to a lawyer to make sure that it's certified and the language that you're using is the right type of language so that the client can't come back and say anything after the fact, you know what I'm saying? So like, take the time, Watch that contract video, build up some good contracts and make sure that you include them with your proposals. But this is gonna be my contract and it's very, very, very straightforward. We talk about the things that I'm gonna offer. Again, the services, the date, project type and services that we're gonna offer, any deposits, remaining balance, everything. So just everything. And then what's really cool about proposals is that it allows your client to actually sign them electronically also. So both you and the client can sign in electronically and you can both have a copy of that contract in your inbox. So this is the method that you would use again if you want to just send out a proposal and skip some of the first steps in the pipeline. But to let you guys know that once you send out a brochure and a client selects the services that they want, the next step is for it automatically to generate a proposal for you. And that automatically generated proposal, again, it's gonna include an invoice, the payment plan or structure that you want, and then on top of that, the contract. And again, you have the ability to make adjustments to that proposal before you actually send it out to the client. So don't worry about it being sent out before you have the chance to make any changes. You do get that option. And that's pretty much it. Once the proposal is sent out, the client can make a payment, they can sign a contract, and they're off to the races. And that's it. Once the proposal is sent out, your client can easily make a payment and sign the contract making it that much easier for you to move them along to the next step. If you guys are ready to move forward with HoneyBook, again, there is a 50% discount off of your first year in the description below. If you made it to the end of the video, again, I wanna say thank you for spending your time with me. And again, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. So yeah, that's gonna be it, guys. And remember to look, learn, and share. Take it easy, guys. Peace.